this film, I always said, absolutely. Uh, there was no doubt in my mind, because I know the kind of uh, director he is, and the kind of work he does, and the performance is very outstanding. And that's why I'm part of it with uh, the cast. One of the things that I must say is very admirable is seeing this intergenerational force happening. Um, were there ever uh, any situations, I'll ask this question of you, y'all, where, how should I say, the wisdom of the wise one here, Dennis, uh, may have been not necessarily in conflict, but having another opinion about the direction in which you were going that you eventually yielded to? Or did he win, or did you win? Um, the funny thing about Dennis is uh, that answer, absolutely not. Uh, Dennis is a young soul, I, I would say. Um, he's able to get with the, get with the uh, vibe immediately and get with the program. Um, anything that's after acts of him, as an actor, he's able to accomplish it. Um, I don't see a problem at all with anything that happened with Dennis or any suggestion or anything that we had on set. Every move we did, we worked on about maybe two short films three, four years back, and the feature was. Uh, an absolute guarantee that I need this gentleman in it to play one of the roles, and he perfected it and aced it. Dennis expressed not an absolute preference for the type of films that he might like to be a part of as an actor, but for you, um, is there any specificity around genre of film? Of course. Um, for me, uh, I started out, I always loved horror, and that's my first love, horror. Um, but I said, you know what, how can I do a horror film but incorporate real life issues that people go through um, to send a message and help change lives, not just make a movie that's entertaining that three months later people forget about. So when Jordan Peele came out and got out, I said, wow, that's how you can do it. You can still scare people and entertain, but you can still address problems. So that translated and transferred to psychological thrillers. So that's my number one love now. I love doing that. But that's not to say I wouldn't do any like romance or anything like that down the line. But psychological thrillers right now. Now, I know uh, usually there is the hope that uh, this process of having more opportunities to direct a variety of films is something that you definitely care more about. Are there any works that you are looking toward in the future without giving too much away that, that you're comfortable with sharing? Yes, of course. My read of films that I'm working on right now, um, I like to give a shout out to Devin uh, Richardson. He's the one, the gentleman that helped us produce this film. Us three did it. Uh, he's going to be tagged along with me in my upcoming documentary feature length uh, titled uh, From the Soul. And that is about a man that went to jail for 36 years. Uh, he's one of the leaders of one of the uh, most violent gangs in America. Um, he did some atrocious things. He walked a dark path, but then later on reformed and turned into the folk of the God. And uh, now we're going to be going back to Africa, Ghana specifically, to trace its ancestral roots and show in the culture there. That's coming up. And then I have my feature length film titled The Money We Trust. That is about uh, people in African society going to communities of impoverished communities and taking their organs and giving it to those that don't want to work with donors because they have the funds to do so. And then I have a film titled uh, Before the Battle I'm directing, um, which is going to be the best uh, battle film uh, since Eight Mile, which was produced and written by Dick Chambers. And then I also have um, Sicilian Triangle I'm working with this gentleman on. This sounds like you hit the lotto and I didn't see you on TV and you got all that money under your mattress. <laughs> it's a lot of work. That, that's just about it. Stay busy. Um, cultural background. Um, I would render a guess, but I'd rather you tell us. Ghana. Uh, Second generation Ghana. Yes. Mm -hmm. And for you, sir? I'm a uh, first generation being uh, Italian, being born in America. Nice mix. I love the cultural exchange mm -hmm. and I'm sure it happens um, because there, there's, there's so many traditional things that are similar about those of us in the world that mm -hmm. often uh, who cooks My, between I, the two of you? I, I, I do. We both yeah, do. Yeah, we both do. Yeah. See, that, that's, you know, the more things that you have in common and the more things you can share, I think, makes for uh, great collaborating. Of course. And um, if you were to um, grab hold of that golden ring, you know, that allows you to showcase your work in a particular venue that you feel would bring... Uh, either this current or future projects to the attention to as many eyes as possible, what would it be? Is it a particular film festival? Is it anything having to do with the, the many, many streaming outlets that are now available where sometimes you don't have to go to the theater, you know, it can be yeah. on, on TV uh, shortly yeah. after being made. What, how do you see that vision? Um, theater's great, but I would say primarily Netflix or Hulu like a streaming service it's easier it's more accessible for people to watch 
Um, pe maybe people don't have, not everyone has access to go to, you know, many people may be wheelchair bound or certain things like that, so, or sick leave, unfortunately. So I would say Netflix. So if Netflix, anyone's listening, I would say Netflix or Hulu. Any distribution platform like that. And for you, does it matter? You, you, I'm sure being seen is important. Uh, how big the screen is important. But I think a lot of folks now uh, have those big wide things. You know, I'm still looking at movies with a spyglass. Not really, but for you, does it matter? No, it doesn't matter. I, I, I concur with y'all, 100% uh, with him. Uh, I feel that uh, uh, the, the spectrum of, of viewings is wide out there. So as long as, long as we, we're able to showcase our work and, uh, and give that wow factor to the audience, Good. that's the main thing. And, and how about family and those close to you? How supportive have they been? Oh, tremendously supportive. Uh, I, the outreach is it's unbelievable. Uh, and for you? Uh, same here, uh, especially with, like I said, the upcoming project with Sobe and writer Isha J. I mean, that documentary, me going back home for the first time. I went to Africa two times I went to do a documentary, a global health documentary, which was in post-production now. And now returning to my home, Ghana, for the first time to do that, that's a big deal. Um, but everyone's supportive now, especially, you know, having a message, you know, that's the most important thing, doing a film with a message. And sometimes, whether it's your own decision or that of family that, you know, wants you to follow a particular... Uh, profession, you know, that comes up. Oh, that started like that, yeah. Right. Did it? Did oh, it, yeah, it didn't did it. Uh, 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 do, are you getting that beckoning to come home with this work? Like, you know, Nigeria kind of has like a little fix on the Nollywood mm -hmm. thing. What's mm -hmm. happening with Ghana? Uh, Ghana has their own also. Um, not as big as Nigeria right now, but Ghana definitely has their own. Um, my third film, what's funny you said that, we're going to Ghana to, to producing with Dan, Dan, Dennis Garfield and Deborah Rickson, is about my girlfriend's father. And his journey. Would you say her name, please? Beridu, Dr. Beridu Teresa. Thank you. Um, and uh, it's about her father and how he immigrated to the United States. Um, him being in the military, his own military training against him, him swimming in the Red Sea. It's a huge journey he went through to get here and then raising three beautiful kids that came out pretty well. Well, this has been a wonderful conversation. I wish we had more time to mm -hmm. discuss it. Uh, in studio guests, Ya Ajipong and Dennis Scarfio, their film, The Birth of Deceit. Uh, trust and believe, as we say uptown, you're definitely likely to hear these names a lot.